Good day friends, welcome back to Dishonored The second episode of the Let's Play I guess Okay, let's go down below We need to speak to Admiral Havelock apparently Well, since he does have a mission for us, I guess so Let's just jump down I think we can upgrade and whatever And uh, before we start the mission well, that he will give let's us get down so. to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business But sometimes Good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. I understand. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Well, we'll see. What are you reading? The Exquisite Tall, tall Boy. Oh, I remember the Tall Boys. I remember hating them. Well, let's go stop by Piero's place, first of all. Oh, Corville? If you've a moment. Okay, I'll speak with you. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Sure, I'll do that, I guess. Um, first of all, where the hell is Piero? I overheard the Admiral at breakfast, talking about the Overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't know too much about what you people are doing. Okay. What can I do for you? Let's see, I have a lot of money, so I could can buy stuff, I guess. Let's see. A lot of stuff. Um I'm not going to buy the bone charm capacity thing because have a lot of them equipped, so you know. Bolt capacity could be good, so let me buy that. Then I'll buy. Let's see, combat sleep dart. Ooh. Maybe crossbow range. And reload. Okay, I'm going to be good for now. And I will steal his key. Who knows, maybe I'll need it one day. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Let's go then. Take me to the distillery district. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Sure, we'll try that. Well, you know what I mean. I'll try not to trip. kill him. As I said before, be I'll try to not leave the way, but... but... Now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. 
City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Well, okay then. Honestly, I should see if there's any... Oh, I should actually favorite someone's sleep darts will be here. Dark vision, blink and the heart. Okay. Let's see, there's a bone jar over there. A rune, another bone jar, another rune. Okay. down somewhere over here hey what is it there's two up there one was moving. what yeah the little one not possible i Holy inspected rats, them myself oh. keep working well he ain't moving no more <laughs> i should cross the bridge or try at least i guess I should probably take care of that woman, I guess. Well, I feel like she's not a threat to me. I would like for her to not yell or anything like that. So I'll just place her somewhere. Can I place her over here? Dunwall citizen. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted Sleep. travel area. I'll kill the rat so that it doesn't eat her. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. There was a guard somewhere. Dark vision is really good. I guess I could swim over there in theory. Let's try that. Hopefully I won't die. Although there are those fishes that attack you. Ooh. Oh, they're biting me. Okay, I'm alive. I think there might be a good... Although, no, the bone charms that you find are random, no? I actually don't remember, so... Okay, how should I... Over here, maybe. A dead body. Let's see what do we have here. Pouch. A bone charm. Let's see. Your, you swing your sword slightly faster. Could be good actually, but. I'm going to remove the good lungs when I'll add that one because I'm not really swimming right now, so Death in the Month of Songs. Okay, if you wish to read it, although it isn't too long. Darren plus Gwen. Both of them are dead, I'm assuming. Oh, I could have climbed it up. Okay. Let's see. Can't jump Good. over there. Keep them coming. I think that's a bandit, actually. 
Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead counter. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. I'm over here. Or oh, survivor. Oh well. Not killing him, so. I'll place him near the woman. Because <laughs> they have no idea where to put them all. Okay, now. now should I go for that room first? It is the closest. Although the bone charm is really close to all of them, I assume. Now, uh, let's see. That was a person up there. Granny's friend door. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, bloop. I think the little birdies are sad today. I think we could just walk and she won't attack us. Granny, right? Granny, Granny, come out with me instead. Granny, dear. Is that you, my dear husband? No. Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think she, give a, she gives us a whale charm thing, uh, rune. Let us in, so. Granny. I bet you... You never listen. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Ooh. Watch it. I suck. Stop. Yes, I would. My God. I told you the night. The amount of fire he has. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Well, I did it. Oh, although I used all of my health potions I for that. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I'm only doing this for the room. And now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our yeah, you're mixing me up with someone else. Than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I think the little birdies are sad today. Yes. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, 
the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Well, try not to kill him, but you know how it goes. Um, I would love to get Dark Vision too, but I need two runes for that, so I might just save my rune for that, because I could go for Vitality, I guess. Which, I mean, improving my health could be good, but I think I'll get Dark Vision then. Vitality too. Granny, 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 come out with me. Anyway, there's something up granny, there as granny, well. Granny, granny, Wait a second. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children, ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to oh, it, I dear. Could do that. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Okay. Let's see him. Yeah, we might do that. So I can unlock Dark Vision too. Let's see. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. Yes, I want it. Nice. Hi. You'll have to go or they won't come. That will definitely be useful. Now, there's a rune over there. Bone Charm, Wall of Light, Galvani's office. Um, let me go. Can I go up there? Let's explore a bit. You know we have to check you over. And the inspection fee. What the Yeah, yeah, I'll save you, don't worry. Hey! I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Want sure. To look at some of the things I found. Good prices, I swear. Let's see what he has. This could be good. Sleep darts, although they're much more expensive, I believe. I could buy this. Oh, I accidentally bought. Oh well. Oh well. Huh? 
Oh, food. I hear sounds. There's a bone charm up here somewhere. Let's see, what did we get? She, uh, fleet fighter. Having your weapons out doesn't slow you. Oh, this is actually good. Let's see. Let's do this and this. There. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I guess I should head for Galvani's offices maybe first. Although they're a bit difficult to navigate to. Are you crazy? They can hear anything you say. I don't give a rat's ass. I really don't. They took my uncle's business over there. Seven streets. Well, if I was quick, I could. You know what? Stupid. I'm watching how they operate. They're disciplined. The City Watch owns you. Hey, I heard you got eaten alive. Ooh, rat. Okay, that's a bit. Did they see me? Oh my god. Well. I mean, if I would, wouldn't have missed the blink opportunity, uh, you know, I... I they wouldn't have seen me, probably, but yeah. Okay, now I have to be careful. I need to find a code for the safe, I guess, because there's some good stuff in it. If I broke the glass, they would probably hear me. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? That means it's not. I think so. So your hands are scrubbed. You're unclean. Yeah, I feel like he is improving maybe the plague, I don't know, creating it, definitely. Well, not creating it, you know, breeding more rats so that more people get sick, I guess. I'm a good, could they stop talking? I'm using dark vision so that I could see where they're going. And where is she going to go? I guess I can go through here.
Sergeant inside? I told her. Okay, this is dangerous. <clears throat> Okay, let's go for a walk. Where shall I put you? In here, maybe? over here Let him sleep in that room. The Lysir is over there. Of course, there's a fake book wall thing. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Excerpted interview attached to a formal report by City Works Crew 17A. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men got mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years and I ne'er seen one of them come below. Except a measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years been the worst and here's why. It's the river crusts. Moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up. And we all climb up fast. No other choice. Okay. Awful, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> That's so disgusting. So we can poison the... Uh, the thing. The bottle string. I mean, I feel like the gang is awful, so... It's probably not that bad to do it. What else can I take? This green thing. <gasps> that woman's coming over here. Oh, shoot, do not come in here. Shall we listen to the audio? Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Hopefully she didn't hear me. I do wonder where can we find the code for the safe.
What? I don't know what kind of clues I did, but... Oh, 287! Is that the code? I think that might be the code. I'm not gonna risk it for those things. Shoot, what the gone. hell? Okay. That was close. Does she have anything? I'm sorry for stealing everything. Now I can loot around, I guess. <laughs> More freely. So, two, eight, seven. Ah, it worked. There used to be paintings where you could steal, no? Or am I remembering this incorrectly? Kind of want to go down below, rank the tower. But there's more guards below, so. I've been invited to a soiree. At the boil estate, of course I won't attend the 28th day of the 7th month. The month of high cold is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the academy. Uh, why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools, so I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of TV in red. Oh, I guess if you put these numbers that are in the journal, you could get the code for the safe as well. Sleep darts, nice. Well, I guess the best way to loot things, if you want to loot everything 100%, is to just go on a killing spree, I guess. You know? Since you can kill everybody, and it's much easier that way, I feel like. They're still fighting with the rats. Am I brave enough to enter the whiskey distillery? I guess I have no choice. Although I might have to sneak because I killed a few of the gang members and I feel like they might attack me or something like that. Hostile zone, yes. Normally, if you don't help out Granny Rags, I feel like they don't attack you.
When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Yeah, walk away, both of you. Both of them are okay. Wait, can I? Should I? Braxton, I'm coming tomorrow to check on the batch, make sure you're wearing pants this time and stick to the recipe. One part Sokolov elixir, one part beach gum paste, two parts sugar water. That's it, the more of the real shit you get in, the less there is to spread around and the less coin I make. This ain't a charity slack show. Well, he's awful. You wonder what this opens, but it might be really loud. Some kind of machine. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, kind of clicky, clunky sound. That's what's good. I'm sure he wasn't drunk. Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. A bone charm. No runes, apparently. <laughs> Operating instructions, attach an empty elixir vial to the spout before you turn the thing on, turn the valve on, collect the full vial, repeat until empty. Do not break vials, do not spill any elixir, no free swigs. Yeah, they're just. I, although I might kill uh, a lot of people with this, I don't know. Hopefully, I won't. Oh, here it is. There we go. 
swift shadow you move forward slightly faster while in stealth mode also really a good um i'll take away a whirlwind because again i'm trying to you know Nah, I don't want to go through here. I'll go the same way. I'll go out the same way I came in. It appears that this episode will be very long as well. But I do want to complete Granny Rags's quest, so... What the hell did I just do? I'm stuck. I could drink a um an elixir. There we go. Wait, I didn't get a key, did I? Of course I didn't. I guess leaving this place is the easy part. You know? Since there's just a lot of ways to... not get caught by those guys. Okay. We can go back to Granny Rex. Hopefully this will be worth it. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. I told you, peel it off. Peel it off so it can breathe. That will never wash. Never, never, never. Now I'll get Vitality 1. Great. Well then, I guess I shall end this episode right here then. In the next one, we will continue. We'll try put the crackers on the right to eliminate Campbell. So, so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. I would appreciate it a lot. And I shall see you all next time. I hope you have a very great day. Goodbye.